got yours. Mm -hmm. Uh, Ted, I want to move on to religious liberty, a very, very yeah. important yeah. issue, and uh, the viewers of this uh, broadcast yeah. are going to be extremely interested, of course, yeah. in hearing yeah. what you and the other candidates have to say. Yeah. Uh, our bishops, the Catholic bishops, mm -hmm. have expressed really a deep concern yes. about religious yes. liberty, especially the emerging efforts to punish people for believing that yes. marriage is the union of husband yes. and wife yes. and for acting on that yes. belief in leading their uh, lives. Mm -hmm. Catholics, Evangelicals, yes. Eastern Orthodox Christians, yeah. Mormons, right. Orthodox Jews, it's really people of lots of different right. traditional right. faiths have been penalized mm -hmm. or f even fired right. from government right. jobs. Our adoption agencies, mm -hmm. Catholics, yes. Lutherans, and others, have been excluded from helping orphan children, which many of them had done for yeah. yep. decades yep. and decades yep. very successfully because they want to place children with a mom and a dad and a home with a mom mm -hmm. and a dad. Small business owners have faced bankrupting fines from yep. government. Yep. For declining to facilitate same-sex mm -hmm. ceremonies mm -hmm. by providing uh, artistic uh, services mm -hmm. as photographers, for example, mm -hmm. or, or providing um, uh, catering, baking, and so right. forth. Now, in that powerful dissent that Chief Justice Roberts wrote mm -hmm. in Obergefell, mm -hmm. the same-sex marriage decision, he warned, and I'm going to quote him here for you, the Solicitor General, the Obama Administration's yes. Solicitor yes. General, candidly acknowledged that the tax exemptions of some religious institutions would be in question if they opposed same-sex marriage. Mm -hmm. There is little doubt that these and similar questions will soon be forced on this court. Unfortunately, this is Chief Justice yeah. Roberts yeah. speaking, people of faith can take no comfort in the treatment they receive from the majority on this court mm -hmm. today." Mm -hmm. unquote. Mm -hmm. Well, given the seriousness of these yeah. religious yeah. liberty threats, what would you do as President of the United mm -hmm. States to protect the rights of Christians and others here, right, really right. people of all sure, faiths, this sure, is not just, sure. just Christians, Jews, Muslims, yeah, people yeah. of all faiths who believe in marriage right, as a right, union right. of man and a woman, and specifically, mm -hmm. would you, in your first hundred days, push for the passage of the First Amendment Defense Act, the FATA Act, mm -hmm. that would protect mm -hmm. people's rights uh, against any possible discrimination from the federal government or persecution, mm -hmm people's rights to believe right. and act on their belief that marriage is the union of husband and wife. Mm -hmm. So absolutely yes, and, and as you know, I'm an original sponsor of that legislation. And, and, and when it comes to religious liberty, religious liberty has been a passion for me for decades. And, and it has been something that, that I have been fighting to defend for many, many years. When, when I was the Solicitor General of Texas, we defended the Ten Commandments monument that stands on the state capitol grounds. We went to the U.S. Supreme Court and we won 5-4, upholding the public display of the Ten Commandments, changed the judicial interpretation all across the country. We defended the Pledge of Allegiance. You'll remember when an atheist sued seeking to strike down the pledge. Michael Newdow, yes. he wanted to take under God out yeah. of the pledge. And we defended those words, one nation under God. We went to the Supreme Court and we won unanimously. President Lincoln's words yeah. at Gettysburg. And then likewise, when I was in private practice, I represented over three million veterans, pro bono for free, mm -hmm. defending the Mojave Desert Veterans Memorial, which is a lone white Latin cross. It was erected over 70 years ago to honor the men and women that gave their lives in World War I. And the ACLU sued seeking to get that Veterans Memorial torn down. They won in the district court. They won in the Court of Appeals. The court ordered that Veterans Memorial to be covered with a giant sack with a chain and a padlock at the bottom because they said you cannot gaze at the image of a cross on public lands. And we went to the Supreme Court on, on behalf of three million veterans defending that Veterans Memorial and we won 5-4. I mean this has been a life's passion fighting for it and, and I'm convinced 2016 is going to be a religious liberty election. You know I've hosted now two religious liberty rallies, one in Iowa, one in South Carolina. They both had two, three thousand people come out. And what we did, you know, the media tries so hard to belittle these threats. They say they're not real, they don't exist. Oh, uh, well, I could name names, yeah. and I'm sure you could too, of the people who've yes. been persecuted, beginning with yeah. Kelvin Cochran down yes. in Atlanta, the fire chief, yes. who lost his job for his private expression of his belief in the biblical understanding of marriage. Uh, you, you are exactly right. And so what we did at these two rallies, you know, typically at a political event, the candidates front and center. I very much wanted me to recede. In fact, I just sat sat in, in the audience and listened, and we featured heroes. So Kelvin Cochran spoke at Is our Iowa yeah, Religious there. Liberty Rally. We had nine heroes come, come to Iowa and just tell their stories. And, and, and it was ordinary people, a, a, a baker, a florist, a fireman, a soldier, 
every one of whom stood for their faith and every one of whom was persecuted. We did another one in South Carolina, and, and it was uplifting. It was powerful. You know, I would encourage your viewers, we've got both religious liberty rallies on our website, which is tedcruz.org. I would encourage folks, go to the website, tedcruz.org, and watch it. It will lift your spirits. You know, in South Carolina, uh, a young girl spoke, Angela Hildenrand. She's a, a senior in college right now. Four years ago, uh, she was the valedictorian of her high school class in San Antonio. She's Catholic. And she was preparing her valedictory speech, and someone had filed litigation, afraid that they would pray at her graduation. And a federal court issued a temporary restraining order ordering Angela not to pray. So it was a preemptive yes. strike yes. against her exercising her First Amendment freedom of speech right to say a prayer. <laughs> and the order specified if she said the words God, Jesus, prayer, or amen, she would be thrown in jail. The order also explicitly exempted that if student wa students wanted to, to kneel down and pray towards Mecca, they could do so but you could not say Jesus. And, and think about this for a second. A 17-year-old high school senior, what should be the proudest day, or one of the proudest days of her life, and she's facing a choice. Does she refuse to acknowledge God, or does she go to jail? And thankfully, she filed an emergency appeal in the Court of Appeals, and they reversed that decision, and she stood in her valedictory speech and offered a prayer of thanksgiving. But those are the assaults we're seeing. And we are seeing it, Ted. Uh, the, um, the crazy thing really about yeah. it, when you think about it, is uh, here's this young woman mm -hmm. just exercising her basic yeah. rights as an American citizen, a free human being, yeah. to pray. Yeah. Not forcing it right. on anyone. No one else right. is being forced right. to, to pray. They're going to listen, but yeah. they can say what they want as well when it's their turn. But every session of the Congress in which you serve is opened with a prayer. Yeah. And indeed, every session of the Supreme Court of the United States is open not only with a prayer, but with an invocation of God. God, God save the United States and, and this honorable, honorable court. court. Yeah. And more than once I've wondered if that should be rephrased, God save the United States from this honorable <laughs> court. Uh, Senator